Today's video is sponsored by Pouch. If you don't try things, you don't learn. God, it takes a lot, doesn't it? Be a mechanic now. Welcome back to the van build but today no van building is actually going to be happening but it could be and will be another interesting day of learning some useful skills as today I'm actually going to try and service the van myself here are all my bits and bobs of van building stuff that need to go on eventually when the conversion gets underway again but quite some time ago I actually bought a DIY kit of service materials and parts that you need to service your own vehicle. Now, before we actually start on and crack on with this, I actually wanted to talk about what the hell a service is, why I'm doing it, and just all of that stuff, because there's a difference between a service and an MOT, as I have found out recently. I've done my research and I'm learning things as I go. So, before I went to Austria, I got the van MOT'd. It passed with absolute flying colors, no advisories, nothing. An MOT, from what I understand, is a legal requirement. It has to be done to make the vehicle road legal. Now, a service is not a legal requirement whatsoever. It's just a good thing to do in your vehicle every 10 to 15,000 miles that you do just to keep the car or the vehicle in good condition. When I actually bought this van, I had, I'm pretty sure, 134,000 miles on the clock it's done 13,000 miles when i was driving in austria it came up with an oil pressure warning light that road trip literally lasted two minutes because we got a problem uh, <sighs> my goodness me <laughs> who the hell has done the oil on this van and it's just a good way to keep the maintenance on top of the van make sure it's in good condition and also as i said for me to learn these skills because if i was to take it to a garage i'm pretty sure a service is going to cost a couple of hundred pounds if not more and these are skills that i really want to learn because they're not difficult they're not that complicated oh god please don't say i'm going to live to regret this but i've seen other videos online and i'm just going to basically replicate what other people have done and try and do it myself so from my understanding of what a full vehicle service entails and requires it is basically an oil filter change air filter change the actual oil change screen wash top up brake pads being checked and maybe some other stuff but we'll open up this box see what's inside and see what needs to be done <laughs> brand new air filter fully synthetic motor oil some more fully synthetic motor oil and some more oil and then this is the what is this oh this is a new oil filter doesn't actually seem like there's a hell of a lot of stuff to do but because it's my first time and i've never done anything like this especially when it comes to mechanics might take me a little bit longer just to understand everything so before we crack on and we attempt my first ever vehicle service i want to say a massive massive thank you to today's video sponsor who is pouch they have been supporting me and this channel for a long time and it's going to be a really good service for you guys to try out because it helps you save money so pouch is a free desktop browser extension that automatically finds and applies the best discount codes when you're shopping online now all of the servicing kit that i've just shown you i actually bought on ebay P.S. Pouch actually works on eBay as well. Let's say you went onto Euro Car Parts because you needed to buy some oil to do your own vehicle service. We're looking at this Triple QX engine oil. It's coming in at £31.49. So let's add that to the basket. Once we go to the basket, Pouch has automatically popped up telling me that there are discount codes available. And there we go. Just like that, it's managed to save me just over £16, which is something I wasn't able to save had I not installed Pouch. Now, Pouch works on over 3,000 UK websites, as you've just seen. Euro car parts, eBay, Quickfit, 
loads, loads, loads more. And what's even better is, even if there are no life codes available at the time that you're shopping online, you can still earn points from participating retailers, which can then be redeemed for a gift card. It literally couldn't be any easier to download and start using it today. It only takes a couple of clicks to install it, and definitely make sure that you pin it to the top of your web browser. So you can download Pouch right now for free by clicking the link in the top of this video's description. What I love so much about this service is it's free and it helps you save money. There is literally nothing better. Sorry again if this isn't the most exciting video, but you guys like to learn alongside me, and that is exactly what we're gonna do today. Learn together, make some cock-ups, probably do a fair bit of swearing, but hopefully get this done in a few hours. Anybody else, when they're looking at something like this, are you thinking, what the hell is going on here? As far as I understand, oil is in here this is the air filter uh what else we got really uh i don't know what the heck that is this is coolant or something coolant and water i think and that's my screen wash as i've said many many times the biggest reason why i wanted to get a van and do the build myself semi myself with the help of a lot of good people so thank you very much for all the people that have helped with this but is to learn basic skills and diy things like this because the generation that we're in nowadays, my generation, I'm 27 years old. Instead of fixing things themselves, people just go and pay a garage to do it. And you don't learn those basic skills. That's the reason I like to give all of these things a go, just to see if I can actually gain some knowledge and learn from it. Before we crack on, I feel like it's only appropriate to wear the right attire. Probably completely unnecessary. Now do I look like I know what I'm doing? because I haven't got a bloody clue. But hey ho, let's do this. This is the first thing we're gonna do. Change the air filter. Right here is where the existing air filter is. So I need to take out some of those screws which should lift this lid off and then literally as simply as possible, take out the old one and put the new one in. I see why mechanics have got torches because it's a bit difficult to see where all the screw holes are. Why pay somebody else to do it? when you can give it a go yourself. That's my new motto for 2022. If you don't try things, you don't learn. These screws are rusty as anything. Look at the state of them. I reckon at the moment I'm probably getting, if I'm lucky, around 25 miles per gallon. Obviously it doesn't help because of the tires that I've got on, but I wouldn't change them for the world because the tires that I've got on completely transform the way the van looks and feels and I absolutely love them. But in terms of miles per gallon, I think a Fiat Ducato, you should be getting around 38 miles per gallon. How the hell am I going to get that one then? Oh, no. There's all these pipes and stuff in the way. That's the lid out. You can see there, this is the old air filter. I don't know if that's good or bad. Obviously it's quite dirty because of all the dirty air obviously that's going into it. Now all we're going to do is put the new one in. That's it. Job one. Done. Air filter swapped out and replaced for a nice, tidy, clean one. Next job on the list is to drain the old oil out and put some fresh, brand spanking new clean oil in. Thankfully, the workshop where I keep my van, I'm very fortunate. There's actually some ramps that I can use to lift the van up. So this is gonna make things 100 times easier. It means I don't have to crawl underneath the van. I can put it up and stand underneath and it's just gonna be, as I said, so much easier to work on. <sighs> Sorry, it probably sounded like I was just shitting my pants, but I was trying to push the van back without turning the engine on. Probably helps if I turn it on. We're on there. We're on. We're on. Pretty scary being under the van like this. I don't know why I'm moving like a worm. I haven't been underneath this van since I tried to install the dreaded Chinese diesel heater. Ah, I want to cry. The thing's gonna bloody blow up. What the hell is going on here? What a bloody nightmare that was. So this here is where all the oil actually sits. 
this is the oil tank I think this is the sump plug which I need to take out drain all of the oil that comes out of here and then put the new fresh oil back inside how many liters is that five liters six liters seven liters of oil and then we've got a brand new sump plug and washer and then also a brand new oil filter right got my bucket got my oh what the hell to call this thing spanner oh jesus righty tighty lefty loosey hell jesus this is the oil tank isn't it jesus christ oh brilliant here come the problems i can just sense it already why is that so tight that's ridiculous i'm doing this the right way aren't i come on oh my god oh my neck hurts oh oh my god i was trying to avoid that <laughs> call me a mechanic now time to put in the new sump plug right happy days oh oil bloody everywhere next job on the list is to swap out this oil filter which i believe just screws off and again is probably going to leak some oil so uh. oh scheisenhagen oh it goes everywhere doesn't it that's pretty much all stopped dripping so now we're going to replace the old filter for the new one what i've seen people do on the videos to create a tight seal is put some oil from the existing oil filter onto the new one just by rubbing them together and then we'll screw this one on hand tight i assume <sighs> right so far so good air filter changed oil filter changed now i need to put fresh oil back into the tank i don't actually have a funnel which is going to make this a bit tricky to pour in found an empty water bottle which i'm going to cut the top off and hopefully this should work as a filter as a filter as a funnel lovely jubbly nothing like a bit of ingenuity i must say <gasps> i've made a right mess but now it's going in let's check what levels we're at i've just put five liters in that's about halfway i would say so i'm going to chuck the other two liters in that i've got and hopefully that should be full then Now the new oil's in, I'm gonna start the engine and just get all that oil to run through the system. I suppose so. It's what everybody else seems to do in their videos, so I'm just gonna copy exactly that. Just gonna check nothing's leaking. Hunky-dory, that seems all good to me. It looks like my engine coolant needs to be topped up because it is actually just underneath the minimum mark. So I need to go and get some more of that to top that up to the max. Need to top up the washer fluid. And I still don't really know what this is, to be honest. It says, warning, clean filter cap before removing. Use only Dota 4 fluid from a sealed container. Whatever that is, it's full. More? More. God, it takes a lot, doesn't it? Come and behold him, King of Angels. Why is everything sealed? That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Everything all topped up. Happy days. Do you know what? I think my first time 
basic vehicle service is done. Even today, changing these simple basic things like the oil, the oil filter, the air filter, topping up the coolant, the windscreen wiper, and whatever else I've done, I've never done before. So it's a good stepping stone in the right direction because it means I can do these basic things in the future. I'm pretty sure the brakes are absolutely fine because I asked Neil to check them when I went up to Liverpool and he said they're thick. I don't really know exactly what that means, but the brake disc pads, there's enough thickness on them, they're not completely worn out. I know this may not have been the most exciting video you've ever seen of the van build. I'll be honest, I'm going through the ups and downs of life yet again, which I seem to do every few months. I've just lost a fair bit of motivation since coming back from Austria of cracking straight on with the van. I just feel like doing other things at the minute and I don't know what those other things are. I'm kind of umming and ahhing about my future in life and what my plans are, what I see myself doing in 10 years. And I don't really know. I'm definitely beginning to get a little bit overwhelmed and fearful of, I don't know really, just what's to come in the future. It just scares me. Um, and at the minute, the van build and YouTube hasn't really been at the forefront of my mind. My emotions and my feelings towards all of this stuff has constantly been up and down. And I like to share moments like this in a video and talk about things like that because I think YouTube, social media in general, paints this picture of a life which is happy, rosy and just perfect all the time. And I'm just basically in a state of mind at the minute where I'm just trying to figure things out. Um, and I don't really know where my head is at at the moment. Thank you guys for continuing to watch the videos, for supporting me. I really do appreciate it and I will always be honest, open, show the misfortunes, the mishaps, the cock-ups, the swearing and all of that because, well, to be honest, that's just me. Life isn't like that. Life is like this. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you got some useful I don't know, useful. I mean, I didn't exactly give you much information in this video, but hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.